Is it possible to ride all of the water rides in Universal in one day? We are putting this, my personal nightmare, to the test. <laughs> Universal Orlando has over 15 water rides. And while we've done a lot of ride challenges where we ride more than 15 rides in a single day, water rides present their own set of challenges. We're also tackling this challenge during what is basically the first week of real summer feeling weather in Central Florida, so lines are long, but this is likely what you'll face when hitting up water rides unless you don't mind getting soaked when it's 50 to 60 degrees out, which I do. <laughs> Good morning. Good morning. 8.30. 8.30. For the most part. Bagel. Bagel. I ate mine already. Coffee in a mason jar. Coffee in a cup. Only that way to have it. School logo on it. <laughs> Yum. Gonna run a lot of water ends today. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Emma just tried to walk to the right when we came in Islands of Adventure. I wanna go to Hagrid's. Like, I don't wanna do this. <laughs> Every time we come here, we're going to Hagrid's. Hagrid's. That's the only reason we're here. That's Hagrid's. the only reason we go is to walk. Is okay. When we rope drop Universal, we're going to Hagrid. There's no other reason we rope drop. But in fact, we are rope dropping uh, the most popular land in the park today. Toon Lagoon. Lagoon. We are here in Toon Lagoon. This is our first stop. We're in Universal's Islands of Adventure, the second theme park at Universal. There are two water rides here, and uh, they are very intense water rides, both of them. The raft ride here gets you wetter than anything else. Emma's upset, and she's eating a bagel slower than anyone's ever eaten a bagel. I'm angry. I gave this to her at my house like an hour and a half ago. I was driving a car. I'm not a good multitask. That's fair. Um, but we've got Popeye and Ludo's Bulldog Barges, which hasn't opened yet for today. So we're gonna head on over to Dudley Do Right's Rips Off Falls. Now the reason we had to rope drop today is because Universal's water park, Volcano Bay, which is gonna be the most rides that we have to hit today, does tend to fill up. It is an extremely popular water park. So we're wanting to rope drop that so that just in case it's a busy day over there, we can get on the rides and get in the park, period. Uh, which to do that, it opens at 10 a.m. So we've got to get done over here before 10. Hopefully, Papa and Ludo's little drop barges will open by then. But for now, we're going to go on ahead to Dudley Do Right's Ripsaw Falls. Water ride number one is Dudley Do Right's Ripsaw Falls. This is a log flume attraction. It's very similar to Splash Mountain or what will be Tiana's Bayou Adventure in Disney World, but it is themed to Dudley Do Right. Quite an interesting theme. I loved this ride as a kid. It's super colorful, the story's super fun, and that drop is pretty intense. It's higher than Splash Mountain's at 75 feet. You do get soaked. So we're starting big here today with Dudley do Rips Ripsaw Falls. We are gonna grab lockers because we did bring our stuff into Universal just because we have all our cameras and stuff like that. Uh, the lockers for the two water rides at Universal Islands are three water rides. I forgot about Jurassic uh, World. The lockers for the water rides over here are not complimentary, so a lot of Universal rides have complimentary lockers, but the water ride ones, you can bring your stuff. It's just if you don't want your stuff to get soaked, you will need to rent. Uh, so we are gonna do that because we've got a lot of stuff with us. All right, we're headed through the Dudley Do Rights queue. Have you ever watched any Dudley Do Rights? I don't even know who that is. <laughs> um, this is a five minute wait right now, so it's probably gonna be a walk on, but I will say that this line can actually get long, especially on hotter days. I have waited through all of this before. Yeah. Uh, people, people love water rides, and this is actually a really fun one. I rode it a bunch of times in a row as a kid one time. But there is also a single rider line, so if you are willing or able to split up your party, you can single ride. Just a heads up, these ride vehicles are like true log flume bobsled style, so your legs are around the person in front of you, um, which is often a stranger if you're in the single rider line. So just a heads up, if that's not something you're comfy with, then uh, you, you might wanna skip out on this one. I don't choose to ride it a lot because I don't want to be wet, but today we're literally in bathing suits. Yeah. We're like dressed for it, so yeah. it's kind of nice. I would say that on that ride you get about as wet as if 
you've been in a theme park for an hour. Yeah. It's early morning, it's 92 degrees, um, and you're the sweaty type. Yeah. On a scale of Jonas Brothers, I actually would say this one's probably a Joe. Oh! Yeah. Um, I love Joe, but Joe's not everybody's favorite. Yeah. I love this one, but compared to what we're going to do today, you know, yeah. I'd say this is a Joe. I'm not going to say no. Joe's my Joe. favorite Jonas Brothers. He's my favorite. Okay, so. But he's wow. not everyone's favorite, yeah. whereas a majority of people would assume Nick is the big one. Yeah. Joe's the one who deserves it. Yeah. So. Wow. Okay, so Dudley Do Right's underrated. You yeah. heard it here first, folks. Eh. Okay, for our next water ride of the day, we are here at Jurassic Park River Adventure. This is a water ride journey on a raft that takes you into the world of Jurassic Park. And you can even see some of the dinosaurs, but then, I don't know, things get a little crazy and scary, and frankly, you're gonna get wet. I'll just leave it at that. Off Jurassic World. Yes. I would say on that one you get about as wet as if you spill like an entire large Coca-Cola on you, but mm -hmm. less sticky. I'd say scale of uh Frankie to Nick. I'd give it a Nick, Jonas. You're giving it a Nick. I'm giving it I would Nick give it a Nick as well. This is a wonderful ride. I don't like water rides famously so, but this one is fun. The animatronics are great. I think it's one of their strongest rides they've ever made. Yeah, that one, it's like you should ride it even if you don't want to ride a water ride kind of thing. Like if I'm here for fun, I'm riding Jurassic World yep. and I'm just kind of sucking up that I get a little wet. I will say we're both in full like bathing suits. Like this is a bathing suit and we're both wearing like bathing suit pants basically. And it's making the water rides a breeze. It's making them a lot easier. I will also say I have friends who they do all of their rides and then at the hottest point in the day, they will do every single water ride at once. Yeah. Just get soaked and then dry off. That's and the way that's to do it. that's the best way to do yeah. it in my opinion. You gotta do water rides and then coasters because mm -hmm. the coasters will dry you oh, yeah. off. Yeah. All right, there's still a delay at Popeye and Ludo's Build Drop Barges. We're gonna wait it out. Um, it is almost 10, so we're getting into the territory where we get a little iffy about, we're not gonna be able to rope drop Volcano Bay. Hopefully though, it doesn't fill up. Fingers crossed. As if, long as we're there early, it should be We totally should be fine. cool. It usually fills up around like one, or, one two. or two. I have been turned away though, and that's what makes me. I'm scared. Okay, if you're at home, cross your fingers right now. Fingers crossed. Fingers crossed. We're gonna take this time <laughs> to use sunscreen hour. Sunscreen hour. Sunscreen hour. Sunscreen. Are you having flashbacks for a disaster day yet? Um, yeah, almost immediately. <laughs> How are things just not working? Like universal kind of what's happening there. Yeah. You guys want to tell us. Like, do you hate please? us? Is it us? Is it because you knew we wanted to do this? Yeah. Like, what's kind of happening with that? Popeye and Luna's will drop barges is still down. Um, it they keep watching the team members like weirdos. We're trying to be respectful, but like side. And they like are like walking around like picking up fans. Yeah. And like they're like, hey, it's not gonna open yeah. for a minute. Like just keep, keep checking the Universal app. app. Yeah. And we're like, we're gonna. Stay right here because we don't have anything understand. else to ride. It's the only thing we're here for. Now the rafts are moving, so hopefully they'll get moving here in a second. We just have a lot of rides to do at Volcano Bay, and everything with a water ride closes early. The latest they open is Animal Kingdom, which is open till 7 p.m. for Cali River Rapids. The other two close at six. Yep. So we are on a much tighter deadline for our ride challenge than we usually are. The words I don't have them. <laughs> so. Also, while we're waiting, uh, if you are watching this shortly after it goes up, we are in the live chat right now. So we do premieres for our videos on Tuesdays and Saturdays at 10 a.m. Eastern time. If you are around at those times, we would love to see you in the chat. We do love to hang out. Fry is usually there. We're there sometime. We love chatting with you guys and it's watching the so videos with you. Fun. And we love to hear what you guys say like the first time you yeah. watch it. It's just fun. We can also answer questions us. and stuff. So if you are around Tuesdays, Saturdays, 10 a.m. Eastern time, come on into the Hi. premieres. The Unfortunately, yeah. we, we did a thing, something that we highly recommend if you ever have a ride that you really want to ride and you're like waiting it out is to set a time that you're giving up because otherwise you might wait all day. And waste all of your valuable time yep. you could have been doing other things. It's sometimes worth it, especially because with really popular rides, if like you get on them hybrids. right when they come up, you could end up one of the Saving first people time. in line. But in this instance, that isn't even the case for us. Mm -hmm. We just don't want to have to come back here, but it's our time. We're yeah, headed to Volcano we our Bay. Time. We're gonna have to do Volcano Bay because at this point, we're just wasting time. Yeah. Like, 
And we have a, nothing helpful. this challenge that so you're like, oh, do. you know, it's just the water rides. But with no. the water parks, so There's many rides so to do today. They've drained the pool. It's drained. And um, when did so we do this? We've just been waiting. Drained? I don't know. It's a good thing that we got up because uh, hopefully this will be up. We have hours at Volcano Bay. So hopefully they undrain it. But uh, Question mark? technically okay. with our challenges, uh, rides don't count as part of the challenge if they are unavailable for the entire day. So that does not mean that we're ruined. However, the waiting for it while they drained it hurt. hurt. And it might have made things not so great for us. All right, so to get to Volcano Bay, you do have to take a bus. You can take a bus from the bus stop by Universal Security, or you can take it from the Volcano Bay parking, which is on the bottom floor of the parking garage. It's actually where we parked, but we don't need to change. Save time when we're coming back. Yeah, which is great. We don't have to, we can just bus right here, and then we don't have to go all the way to the parking lot. Which is great because now we do have to come back if Papa and Bluto's build drop barges comes up. Now, now we're actually hoping it doesn't. We because don't want it to. And this is the one day I was prepared to ride it. Yeah, I really wanted to ride it, honestly. I love that ride. It's super fun and we're in bathing suits. But if it comes up now, we're going to have to get back here or fail the challenge. If it stays down, it doesn't count for the challenge and we're in the clear. All right, a short bus ride. It's honestly a little longer from the theme park than it is from the parking lot. It's about but, five minutes from the parking lot. Yeah. But it saves us the walking, yeah, so. Say, it probably evened out in the end. Yeah, definitely. So we are headed into Volcano Bay. We're very excited. Um, Emma and I absolutely love Volcano Bay. Neither of us are like, I like water parks, but I wouldn't call myself a water park person. She doesn't even like water parks. No, I don't like water rides. Yeah. Nor water parks. This is a great challenge for Emma, basically. Yep. But this, <laughs> this water park, is so amazing it feels like an actual tropical experience which is crazy because this is what it looks like outside of it but wait till we get inside you're gonna be shocked and luckily it seems that it is not full yet all right so here's where it starts to transition from being just a regular old place on the side of orlando's i4 highway to being a mystical land volcano bay all right, so Volcano Bay is Universal's water park. It is massive, way bigger than Disney's water parks, and it's themed to a tropical island with a volcano, Volcano Paradise. Uh, if you want to learn more about Volcano Bay, you can check out... What is that? You can check out um, Emma's complete tour of Volcano Bay on the channel. Um, it's very, 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 very fun, even when you're not a water park person. One of our favorite parts about Volcano Bay is that they give you these amazing bands called Tapu Tapus, and this is actually how we're going to wait in line for part of our rides today. You go, you tap into the queue, and then you actually come back when your watch tells you to. You also can use it as Tapu Tapu Pay, kind of like a magic band, but you get to wait in less lines because of it. So we're big fans of Tapu Tapu. All right, lots of water rides to hit here at Volcano Bay. Unsurprisingly, it is a water park. We are currently moving and grooving because we're gonna head to the very back of the park to get in line for Krakatau Aqua Coaster. This is the most popular attraction here at Volcano Bay. It is a coaster more than a slide and uh, it's all the way in the back of the park and it tends to have a little bit longer of a wait. So the plan is for us to go scan in with our Tapu Tapus and then uh, our Tapu Tapu will let us know when it's time there but we can go ahead and knock out some attractions that don't require a Tapu Tapu wait in the meantime and hopefully we can get through a lot. We already walked past the uh, signs for the wait times. 150 minutes for Crocky Tower, but you know what? We're gonna tap the tap our way through that wait. Yeah, we are. And most everything else is right now, which is great because we can tapu tapu into Krakatau and then ride a lot that's right now or anything that doesn't typically require tapu tapu. So we've tapped in the tapu with our tapu tapus. It's 155 minutes. Um, well, squirrel. That time. Yeah, last two in that time. So today, the Volcano Bay wait times are not showing up in the app, which sometimes they do, sometimes they don't. Yeah. They're not today. So we're going to be relying on wait time signs at the rides and around the park. Because this park is so big, I think we're going to try as much as we can to kind of stick in the same area and go area by area as we ride. So we're going to find some lockers to put our stuff up and then we're going to start riding some rides. All right, so right now we are headed to find lockers. Um, you can't film on any rides at any of the Universal Parks, Volcano Bay included. So we're just going to be riding and telling you what we think. Uh, hopefully as we get through everything in this park relatively quickly. There are around 15 attractions at Volcano Bay alone. We may be able to ride 15 attractions. 
in two and a half hours? We may not. At the lockers, Emma's getting out our handy dandy sleeves so that we can keep my phone with me. And we're putting everything else in this locker. Our first slide is gonna be the Hanu Ika Moana slides. There are two, there's a green slide and a blue slide. Uh, one is the Hanu and one is the Ika Moana, which means they do both count, unfortunately. We're gonna go ahead and hop on these and we'll see you after for our Jonas and wet ranking. All right, we got up Ika Moana. Ika Moana was good. Um, on a wetness, it's gonna be that um, maybe, honestly, if you like wet yourself, if you peed your pants, yeah. it's about the amount yeah. of wetness I have. I'm gonna give it probably actually a Nick Jonas. Wow, a Nick. I didn't get that wet. It was relaxing. I really liked it. Wow. Nick Jonas. All right. Next stop is Copico Y or the Winding River. This is the lazy river here at the park. It is a pretty long one, but there are stops around, so you can actually use it for transportation if you don't have your stuff with you. Um, so we're gonna hop in that because it is a water ride, technically. We're out here. Are we sharing a tube in the lazy river? Maybe. Maybe we to are. Left, to the left, we're about to get. We're gonna do it. Yeah. Oh yeah. We're about to get straight up. Yeah, yeah, we don't want that. So yeah. Yeah. Sharing a tube in the lazy river. Because we can't find one. We can't find another. And we're in a rush. So we sure don't have time. This. Yep. This is what besties do. This is what moms and dads do. Mom and dad. That's fine. Hey, we're no. Paddle, 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 paddle. Paddle. I don't know what I was saying. I think I was trying to say puddle, but it didn't quite work out. Hmm. Oh my gosh, oh my gosh, oh my gosh, oh my gosh, oh my gosh. Oh, to the, no, other way, other way. I would say um, that the lazy river, you get about as wet as um, as you want, yeah. you know? I'm gonna say it's a, it's definitely a Nick Jonas for me. Oh yeah. 100% uh, my face doesn't have to get wet, so yeah. and, Nick Jonas. And for sure, it's like, it's about as wet as if you like took a shower and then only stood your body in as much as you wanted to stand your body in the yeah. shower. Or like if you filled a bathtub halfway and felt good about that. Yeah. So our current situation is that we are now in our tapu line at 95 minutes for Krakatau. Wow, it got even more busy. There are a few things that we can enjoy anytime. We've done the Winding River, and there are a few ride now still. So we're probably gonna go do, we've done Ika Moana. Hanu's back to ride now, let's go. So the trick with Volcano Bay, especially on slower days, is that the rides will say, ride now and then by the time you walk around to actually scan in they will get a little bit of a wait however we did see it said right now we hurried on in and we are now back in line for the hanu slide uh these slides there's the green is the Ika Moana, the blue is the hanu the hanu is more intense um than the Ika Moana. we did the Ika Moana already so we'll see how the hanu is yeah. On the wetness scale, it's going to land about uh, like you accidentally you dripping off your nose. fell into some whitewater rapids and everything was dramatic. Um, and you got out of them and you were safe and fine. But that's about where it was on the wetness scale. Which Jonas do you think it was? Definitely Nick Sr., the dad, the manager, most intense. <laughs> and frankly, just not fun. Um, so, Ika Moana is the sister slide, and we were like, Ika Moana is cool, it's fine, it's just a little smooth rock ride. Hanu's intense. I liked Hanu, but it, I, it did scare me. We were both kind of screaming at each other the whole time. Emma did not like Hanu. I didn't like it at all. We still have 65 minutes on our Krakatau wait, so we're on to something else that doesn't require a new tattoo. All right, we are gonna be skipping Runamaka Reef and Tatiki Reef today because it's a play area for kiddos. So even though it is an attraction, it's not an attraction for us, which means it doesn't count in our challenge, but it is very, very fun for kids. Yeah. And if you've got a little one, they're probably gonna wanna spend a good amount of time there. All right, so we checked out one of the wait time boards and it says the Rocky and Tonga slides are both ride nows. So these are both tube attractions, dynamic twisting tubes with some drops and twists and turns and water spring. So uh, that's what we are headed on next is these green and blue slides and hopefully they'll both stay right now. Okay, we did the Rocky. We did. Which is the, the blue slide. It is the blue one. If you're looking at the sign, you're gonna do it on the right. Yes. It is enclosed, the fully enclosed slide. It's a fully enclosed tube slide, so it's not that tight, but it does feel very enclosed. It feels very enclosed because it picks up quite a bit of speed. It goes point, very fast. And that was overwhelming to both of us, yeah. I think. It was, it was surprising in an almost fun way and an almost scary way. Yeah. But I enjoyed it, I think. I, I wonder if we'll like Tonga better, I'm not sure. 
We like Tonga Toast. Yeah, I like Tonga Toast. Uh, yeah. Are we ranking this on a Jonas or? A, well, or both. So I think on I think on wetness we're looking at uh, this is gonna sit on the scale about where um, a summer rainstorm would sit uh, when you're trying to run into a Target. And you're like, <gasps> yeah. And you really gotta get. You have to go to Target right now. No, yeah. yeah. You already no drove option. all the way there, so that's where it's gonna sit there. Yeah. As far as Jonas Bros goes. Um, I don't know because this one I think I want to stress to everybody my favorite Jonas Brothers is Joe. I want everybody to know that. But when I talk to other people, you know, Nick is normally the favorite. So I'm going with other people's opinions. In my opinion, this one's a Joe because a lot of people would like it, but maybe it's not for everybody. I think it could be a Kevin too. I think it could potentially be a because Kevin. Because it doesn't, it doesn't like at face value, it's yeah. you're kind of like a. Okay. It's, you know, it's just a slide, but then it gets so fast, like and like Kevin. Yeah, I think for me, if it's a Kevin, it's if I get soaked unwillingly in my face. Well, you really don't like, don't like Kevin. Kevin's really cool, but you know, ranking. Now, one thing that's fun about these slides is you do get to go over a rope bridge over the Fearless River, which is one of our water attractions today that we have to do. But for now, it's Tonga time. So the Tonga. You know when you wash your dishes? That yeah. was like if you were the dishes. And you're holding a spoon. So <laughs> down and it goes <laughs> Yeah. Yeah, Kevin for sure. Yeah. I like this one as wow, much, not Kevin. my cup of tea. I actually really like this one. It was super fast. It was very and fast. And what we found out is that for the for both of those sides, the red and the green there, you can ride closed or open. So just ask a team member if you'd rather ride the open one. We did get to ride the open on the Tonga instead yeah. of the closed, which we did on the Rubin. Uh, other one, we prefer it when it opens up a couple times. We are standing literally right next to um, he Think Frog. Can we get a quick small snack? A little quick snack? Yeah. I think we have time in our challenge. This isn't a watch. All right, so we are here at Beasting Sting Frog for our first fuel of the day. There's Emma. There she is. That's very nice. We are gonna get the chicken tacos here. Um, Volcano Bay actually has really excellent food. We've loved everything we've ever eaten here. This is the last thing I've not eaten from Beasting Frog, so I'm very excited. Really? Okay, cool. So we're trying out the uh, chicken taco, and I think it's gonna be pretty good. But we've we've been trying out a lot of the food of Volcano Bay, especially in our perfect day here at Volcano Bay. I'm gonna try some in our complete tour. So we're gonna have a little snack, and we're still in our window for Krakatau. And we're gonna grab a snack, quickly scarf it down for fuel so that we can keep our speed up, and then we're gonna jump in the Fearless River. And hopefully not get a cramp. So we didn't even get the chance to chat about it. <laughs> we got the chicken tacos for us to share, and we got some taco sauce. They come with plantain chips, they're there, and some salsa that's actually really good. So this is marinated chicken with queso, purple onion, and cilantro and lettuce. What do you think? Oh my gosh, they're good. They look amazing. They're so good. The sauce on them is kind of sweet, mm -hmm. and it actually goes really well with these packets of taco sauce that you can grab. They have like the perfect amount of stuff in the taco. Mm -hmm. I mean, it's a nice floured tortilla that has a lot of stability. Um, I'm actually not that big of a taco person. I love these. I especially Ugh. love the cilantro and the like, the cheese. Yeah, winner. Well, everything at Feasting Frog has been wonderful so far. Excited about this. And we have uh, five minutes to eat these and we have to keep going, okay? That's why All right. I started. Okay, bye. All right, we finished our very quick meal break, yeah. very quick Coke break. We both drink a Coke. So now, this challenge is going to be done in about an hour, I want to say. Yeah, I mean, now that I have a... <laughs> I thought you fell. All right, our next stop is going to be the Te Awa Fearless River. This is actually both of our favorite attraction here at Volcano okay. Bay. It's like if a lazy river were exciting. Yeah. So you get in the water, the water speeds you along in like rapids. Uh, you do have to wear a life jacket. Um, it is very, very fun. You go around pretty quickly. So unfortunately, we probably only have time during our challenge to go around once, but we're pretty excited. Okay, friends. So to get in the uh, rapids, we need a neck tie for this, not a neck tie. We need the, the thing that goes in around your neck to bring this with us into the rapids. Uh, unfortunately, we have just been keeping it in Quincy's pocket and we don't have the neck strap for it. So she's gonna go grab the neck strap, but that means <laughs> I get to chill. Is the challenge in danger? Probably, because of this waste of time that we made a mistake on. But uh, does it mean I get to sit here for a second? Also, yes. And that's what I like about a Volcano Bay day, so. Calabunga, Emma. Calabunga. <laughs> fall over. River 
is extremely, extremely fun. It's a lot of fun. It felt more intense today, randomly. Yeah, it was like they turned it up a bit from the last time, yeah. which was fine by me because it's such a blast. Yeah. Uh, you get about as, you know when you do laundry? Yeah. If you were the clothes in the washing machine. Oh my gosh, yeah. Yeah, it's that's fun. exactly what it feels like. This is definitely a Nick if you're looking for something I, a little fun. I could have, can I, can I challenge that? Yeah. I think it's a Sophie Turner. <gasps> it was at this moment that he knew. <gasps> it's a Sophie Turner. It's a Sophie Turner. I, you know, I actually wanted to say that earlier with something, but I didn't want to throw the wives into it. Yeah. Because I wanted to keep it simple. But if I had to toss out a Sophie Turner, this one's definitely. This one's de if you have to toss out a Sophie Turner, it's Hottest, this one. best. best. Best looking, best looking, has the most talent, smartest and coolest, smartest and coolest, definitely has the most clout. Gotta be Sophie Turner. Yeah, Sophie Turner for this one. All right, we're at Krakatoa Aqua Coaster, which is the ride we've been waiting on all day. Um, it appears to be closed right now. Um, I am getting a message of that my return time is paused until it reopens. There are people up there. Emma's wrist says that she can return now. So it doesn't seem like anyone's getting let in, but we're gonna ask. Yeah. I did also see that Krakatau Aqua Coaster, the line is full for the day. So they're not giving out any more new taps, but we're gonna see what the deal is. And then if we can't tap in, we'll keep doing stuff that doesn't require a tap. And hopefully it'll open up pretty soon so that we can tap into one of these other rides we need to do. Otherwise things can get dicey. Now Krakatau Aqua Coaster is the most popular attraction in Volcano Bay. Highly, highly recommend the first thing you do when you arrive at Volcano Bay is tap into the line at Krakatau. You are running the risk of it filling up if you don't. It's so popular because it is less like a sled and more like a coaster. It actually uses magnets to pull you uphill on multiple occasions. It's very fast, it's thrilling, it's fun, um, and it's something that pretty much everyone can enjoy. All right, so we're taking a pit stop through the volcano. The Spirit God is asleep right now, so we're gonna do this instead. I think this is neat. So we came back to check Krakatau. It once again is reading ride delay. So Krakatau foiling us once again. We tapped in a, like an hour after park entry and our thing didn't get called, our our wait time didn't get called until 1.30 um, and it has gone down a bunch since then. So it's very important to tap into that one first. We are going to keep a very close eye on our Tapu Tapus and we're gonna go knock out the reef, which is just a leisure pool. All right, we made it to the reef. It's a pretty small pool. It's just kind of a chill, 
relaxing pool situation. Um, there's some interactive elements that the kids are playing with. You can even sit uh, against the wall and watch people rocket through the uh, the big slide that we are doing later. Wait. It's a challenge. Failed. Failed. Reef pool. Um, very calm and relaxing. It's just a regular pool. It feels like the adult pool. It does. Makes sense. It feels a little it's bit. Not necessarily that. But yeah, it feels kids are that loud, way. but it feels that way. I would say on a wetness scale, you're. It's kind of like uh, if you're. Bath. Well, no. If you're bobbing for apples, and you're the apple, and no one's bobbing for you right now. Yeah, I'd say this one's probably a Daniel Jonas. You know what you're gonna get. Yeah. Really chill. Yeah. Uh, not a lot of people are gonna know about it, but the ones who do, they enjoy. Yeah. Krakatau reopens. We're finally a go. Krakatau, a blast as always. Truly. Those drops really get you. They're big drops. And we caught air at one point. Yeah. And it's super cool to go up. Like you go uphill a lot on this yeah. ride and that's just not something you do on water slides. So that's why it's a water coaster. It's a water coaster for sure. Um, I would say on the wetness scale, you know, the most wet you get on this, you're kind of getting misted the whole time. Yeah. And then at the end, you sink down into the water. On the wetness scale, you're the produce at the grocery store. In the, in in the, the Mr. Cage. The mist, and then you go the home and you get washed in the sink. Yeah. That's exactly what That's exactly what's happening. Yeah. Yeah, on a scale of Jonas, I would say this is probably the Jonas that's the great 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 granddaughter from the year from 3000, the year 3000. it's so advanced it's very ahead of its time probably is gonna outsell Co kelly clarkson at yeah, some point for so. sure yeah. i see 35 minute wait for the kokiri plunge this is the tallest slide in the park um a Maybe plunge slide when i'm not with you if that gives you any indication of what it's like don't look don't look okay but it's part of our challenge today um and emma says she's gonna do it <laughs> All right, we are towards the back of the park. We've cracked a towed. Uh, we went out and scanned in at Koakiri, and it's not a 30 minute wait, but it was already called us both. Uh, it was maybe five minutes ago. M maybe, yeah, it was like n almost no time went by. But we were already walking towards the back of the park, so we decided to come ahead and knock out Maku and Puihi. Uh, these are round raft slides. And fun fact, courtesy of Fry Bucket, is that. Maku uh, means wet and Puihi means wild. Uh, so this is a call back to Wet and Wild, the water park that was here before it was Volcano Bay. Maku complete. Now time for Puihi. Maku, wet, more relaxing. Puihi, wild, a little more scary. Um, so we're headed on it. And we did get whiplash last time on this one. I don't like this Not one. actually, but Not kind. You know, we were being dramatic. Oh. Maku and Puihi. Oh, my hair looks crazy. I'm trying not to think about it. It's yeah. okay. Okay. Yeah. Um, those those are fun. Yeah. Maku is one of our favorites. I love Maku actually. It's mm -hmm. very relaxing. It's a smooth ride. It's fun. But you don't get like water in your face. You honestly don't really huge. get that wet at all. Yeah. Like it's kind of like walking next to a sprinkler. Yeah. I'd say this one's a Nick. Nick Jonas. A Nick. All right. And then Puihi, a lot more wild. This one's a little intense for us. Not as fast or intense Kevin. as some of the other ones we've done. I didn't even want to let you finish. Kevin. To Kevin for her. I would say on that one you get about as wet as you're playing in a sprinkler. Yeah, but like you don't want to be, or like oh no, kids. you're in the yard and the sprinkler came on. Yeah, yeah, that's what it's like. I just did something I honestly thought I would never do in my I, life. I didn't think I would ever do it. So we both just did the Koakiri body plunge for the first time. We did do it. It is a 125 foot drop mm -hmm. and it starts with you standing on a trap door and the trap door goes out from under you and you drop into the slide. You slide all the way from the top of the volcano all the way down to the bottom in six seconds. Yeah. Both of us think the thing that really got us to it, one, we're in a challenge, yeah. but two, it's 209 steps up there. I'm not walking back I'm now. not walking 209 steps if I just walked yeah. out. I will also say I'm going to give the team member who was at the top the most credit of any cast member, team member, anyone I've ever given credit to. She deserves it. I wish I knew her name because I was petrified. Like, yeah. I think you guys can imagine. I was so scared. And she was so nice and calm and honest with me. Like she was not making me feel stupid yep. or silly. And if I had walked down, I she might have held my hand. Like yeah, she was she so, was so great. nice and great. Both of us were scared. Emma was more scared. Yeah. She was gonna go first, and then 
didn't All right, want to. to go first. I, so I was could like, not make myself get in the tube to go first. I was like, do you want to see me? And she was like, yeah. And the woman was so nice. She was letting so nice. Watch. And then I did it. And honestly, like, I will say the trap door was what had psyched me out so much. Was, me too. Because I was expecting to feel like a free fall into a slide. It felt more like you're already resting your back against the wall. So then it kind of just feels like the slide starts really fast. Yeah. What was so horrible for me, in my opinion, was the amount of water that is shooting in your face the whole time. Um, I did hold my nose and I had to inhale at one point and I just inhaled so much water. Yeah. Um, I wouldn't do it again by choice. I would not do it again by choice. But I can't lie to you, it was not nearly as bad as I no. thought it would. I know I could easily do it for a challenge if we had to. Yeah, I would I do would it need again. To psych myself back with out. a with a reason, I would do it again. Yeah. If someone dared me, I'd do it. You know yeah. what I mean? But I just for my best day here, I would wouldn't not do choose it for to a do best it. Day. It's definitely a thrilling one. If you are a yeah. thrill seeker, you have to do it at least once. The entire experience, it, standing on the trap door, the whole ride, getting out is nine seconds. Yeah. Once you are in the tube and it closes, it is nine seconds. Yeah. And for me, I, as scared as I am, you can do anything for 60 seconds, let alone nine. Yeah. So I could do it again. I don't know that I would choose to. No, on a fun day, I'll be skipping that one. Yeah. On a Jonas scale, I'd give this one a Kevin Sr., their dad. Oh, a scary one Yeah, again. It, was, it was a scary one. I thought you said he was a Joe Sr. Who, what's their dad's name? Kevin. No. It is, no, it's Kevin Sr. Did I say Joe Sr.? I think so. I definitely meant Kevin Sr. That's their dad's name, Kevin. We are back to one of our more leisurely spots after the most, frankly, death-defying stunt we've ever pulled on the channel. I still have water in my lungs. We still have water in our lungs. She, not for real, but like emotionally, my hands are shaking. So we came by Poopa Uli Pool. I emotionally have water in my lungs. I emotionally have water in my lungs. So we are going to relax for a few minutes here at Puka Uli Pool before we have to get back on the grind because frankly, we're running out of time and we have quite a few rides left. So I guess like five minutes in the pool. Okay, so we chilled oh, in the no. pool. We chilled in the lagoon for a while. Oh no. Oh no, it well. Oh, oh no. yeah. It's time for oh no. Oh yeah, it's time for oh no. So, so oh yeah and oh no are drop slides. We're gonna try to get on both here uh, in a quick succession um, because oh yeah has gone to a ride now. So we're yeah. gonna try to do both really quick. Uh, these are drop slides, not trap door drop like Koakiri. Yeah. Drops at the end, like you shoot like out at the end. The pool. Oh yeah has a four foot drop and Ono has a six foot drop into the pool. So. Oh no. So. Things oh yeah. Stressful. And Oh no went down and. Uh, that really just threw a wrench in the plans, basically, because they had to like go swimming for somebody. Somebody dropped something, so it's been down for a second. So we started to leave. Well, guess what? Now it's open back up. And it, frankly, it's just a time killer. Like I'm getting nervous. Frankly, I can't remember what we have left today. We have a running we have list. An hour and a half. We have an day. hour and a half like left of the day. Six slides. Five slides. Okay. Well, here's two of them. So here's two of them. We're about to knock out really quick. They're back up. They're right now. Uh, okay, 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 we're here, we're here. So if you can tell by our state, we just did Oh No and Oh Yeah. They finally reopened. It actually went down again while we were in line for Oh No. Yeah, so that one really, like, we're, we're, we're gonna be quick about it. Yeah. Um, we were in line for Oh No, it went down. We were able to get right on Oh Yeah, which yeah. is great, and it didn't go down. Um, we have a lot to do. There's yeah. two major things still we have to do. Yeah. But I just want to drop on these slides. They are for strong swimmers. Like you have oh to my be goodness, able to yeah. swim because you land in a 10 foot deep pool and you have to swim those stairs by yourself. Yeah. And you're not in a life jacket. You just have to be able to do that. Hold so your nose. Strong swimmers ride. Hold your nose. I thought it was really fun. I, I thought it was fun. Out. Uh, the drop was actually a good time. Yeah. I will say I don't love enclosed slides. I don't love enclosed like that either, but it wasn't too long. It was fine, yeah. So it was okay. It was so, fun. really like those. Um, on a wetness scale, you're totally soaked. It's you like- go into the pool. It's like if you, we're are in a pool. Yeah. I'm gonna give this one a Joe. A uh, Joe. Yeah. Wow. We need to tap in. Why are we yeah, taking we so long? Sorry. Come on. Okay, for the next rides, we are headed to Kala and Tai Nui. These are two more of the serpentine body slides. Technically, they are going to count as one for us because we tap in. Yep, right? and they, yes, they count Once. as one. They're also the pretty, they have different routes, but they're pretty much the same slide experience. Yeah. One isn't wilder, one isn't milder. It's just, Similar experience. Similar experience. It is a 35 minute wait right now. And we're probably gonna end on this one. This is our last one for the night because frankly, we have 45 minutes till the park closes. Yeah, so we've gotta go now to go do the racers. Yeah. 
And then I we'll come back so for these. I have so much water beans. in my ear and I can't hear you at all. Okay. I'm shouting. Can yeah. you tell? No. Okay. Yes, I can. Where the Hakunga racers are right now. This is a racing attraction. Uh, you get to race against your friends, you get in the slides, and you see who hits the bottom fast enough. Race complete. I won. I look like a nematode. <laughs> I'm, I can't think about what I look like at this point. My hair is so wet. These tip. Don't yes. come here to look nice. No, don't. Don't come here to look nice. Come here to have fun. Yeah. Um, we had a blast on that one. Yeah. It's really fun to race your friends. Emma did win this time. We checked for sure. We asked, I would like to say on our perfect day, I tried to ask the lifeguards and they told all of us yes. That we won. We're like all individual winners. Like, we're all winners here. This time, they said it was me. Yeah, so Emma did win. Um, but this is a super fun slide. You do get wetter on this one because it's a body slide, yeah. so you're in the water. I would say it's kind of like when you get in the shower and it's a little too cold, so you stand at the very edge of the water. Yeah. That's kind of what this is like. Yeah. Um, on a water scale. What do you? What would you give it on a Jonas scale? On a Jonas scale, I'm gonna have to get a little creative. You know, I'm gonna go back. I'm gonna say that this one is a Frankie. We've not this talked is about a Frankie. Frankie. Frankie's fun. This is a Frankie. Frankie's fun. Yep. He's a little bit underrated. Yep. And you're all going to have a good time with your friends. Yeah. No, this is definitely... Thanks, Frankie. Thanks, Frankie. This is a good one. Uh, we really enjoy it. We don't have a lot of time, though. Unfortunately, our weight is not up. Um, but that's all of the attractions. Except for the last one. Except for the last one. Do you know what I'm thinking? What do you think? We've got about 25 minutes. Food? Food. Food. <laughs> We made it to the last ride. This actually, this was hard. This was hard. It was a semi-busy yeah. day. There have been busier days though. Yeah, busier it's days. really hard to do everything at Volcano Bay. Now we did get an hour, an hour late, so it's definitely difficult to do everything at Volcano Bay. So we've got time to eat because Volcano Bay is not closed. Yes. Um, so we're gonna do a quick snack and then see if we have to go ride Popeye. Okay, we've made it with about 20-ish minutes to spare. We're here at Kohala Reef. We are going to grab the famous coconut curry chicken and the mango barbecue pulled pork sandwich. Super excited. Unfortunately, because it is almost the end of the day, they were out of the fried chicken I wanted. So I went with a mahi-mahi sandwich instead, and it looks amazing. And I got this amazing pulled pork sandwich with pineapple. There's a whole ring of pineapple on it, smothered in barbecue sauce. I'm very excited, and the fries are seasoned. They're amazing. I, I love Volcano so Bay food. Here we go. I already bit mine. I did two. <laughs> but I wanted to do it for you guys also. So mine is really delicious. It's pulled pork. It's not the best pulled pork ever, but I'm from North Carolina, so it's hard to hit me with the best pulled pork ever. She's so silly. Um, but this is very good. It's a sweet barbecue sauce. I love the pineapple on it. Honestly, it's super filling and just exactly what I'm looking for on like a water park day because I feel like being in the water slides like really takes a lot out of you. Especially when you're trying to do all of them with all the water rides at Universal in one day, like we did. Mm. Mine is actually so good. For Mahi Mahi at a water park, it's like nice and flaky. And then there's a pineapple salsa on the side, which really balances. There's actually quite a bit of spice in the Mahi Mahi. So this like cold pineapple salsa just balances it really well. And it's on Hawaiian sweet bread. What else can you ask for? We just checked. Popeyes is still down. Mm -hmm. uh, so here's what we're gonna do. We're going to call it. Mm -hmm. We're gonna call it a success. Um, and if Popeyes comes back up at some point in time, we will come back out here because we're dedicated to a challenge. But it's great. Right. Yeah. So we I think hopeful. likely, regardless, we're gonna have a success tonight. Mm -hmm. If it comes back up, we'll be able to do Popeyes, yeah. and you'll see that in this video. If it doesn't, this is a success. If you like this video, go ahead and like and subscribe. Now go watch us attempt to do eight parks in one day without paying for attractions and things go real bad. We'll see you there. See you there.